It's a nice and windy Sunday. Good day to work around the farm. Calling for rain. Rained a little bit this morning, but kind of dried up. But I think I got some more coming this afternoon. A uh, little project I've been wanting to do is a little cow barn right here. I'm going to do like a 14 by 28 just because I got a, oh yeah, I got a barn full of 14 foot lumber. So that's what I'm going to make it out of. Um, nothing special, just a little lean to pretty much pole barn 14 foot uh, wide 28 foot long go right here kind of right in front of the corral that way it can kind of this area will just be sacrificed in the winter time and just always be a probably a muddy mess so figure just do it right here and kind of contain it all to one area that way the pasture will have time to grow back up that pasture over there now moved them over there about a week or so ago and uh they're working on that now while this comes back it's coming back pretty good though so uh, i'm gonna mark it out and uh i got an auger somewhere over there at the pole barn i'll get that hooked up we'll drill some holes so i got the barn laid out now got all the corners put in and squared up now i'm just going to mark the corners so i'll know where to auger to post that and if anybody's ever used a uh, three point auger on a tractor they'll know you just kind of get it close and there was the center where i'll put a uh the center one post the middle post That'll kind of give me something to go by when I auger it in or set the auger down so I kind of know general direction of where it needs to be. There we go. Let's go put the auger on. So I just took the finished mower off of the tractor. Now I'm going to hook up the auger over here. See how much uh, easier it is with this fast hitch. This thing's always been like a royal pain in the butt to hook up. And I see that the PTO shaft has fallen off of my block of wood, so now it's probably buried in the dirt. And will be a nightmare to hook up. Oh joy. Let's see how aggravating this is going to be. I'm afraid to open the back one. I might swing around and bust it. We'll wait till it's hooked up first. I don't know how far I need to get, how close I need to get. Oh, that probably, ooh. That was the uh, forward pedal. Let's see, about right there. I'll let it down. We'll go from there and see what happens. Yeah, so I got the auger hooked up. Let's go drill some holes and see how well it works. It's been a while since I've used this thing. It's handy to have. Don't use it very often, but it is handy.
there, but you never know where it's going to end up at. Wasn't that? Yeah. So I got the six post holes drilled. As you can tell, that thing is aggravating. You can put it down on the ground, but as soon as it hits a rock, it's real rocky ground out here. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's just like the first few inches is just nothing but like gravel. And that thing gets to hopping and skipping around and it never ends up where you put it down at, but they're, they're close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the old cow shelter barn. That middle one got off a little bit, but oh well, oh well. I'll cut them light poles and uh, make me six posts. I'll work on this throughout the week. So I cut one of the poles here, and I'm going to see if I can actually put it in the hole with the tractor. These things are heavy, and it's not like you can just pick them up and stand them up. So I'm going to try something see how well it works. I'm going to try to uh, put it in the hole of the tractor. We'll see how well this works. Sounds like it'll work. Only one way to find out. Now it was supposed to go in the ground three feet. Uh, I don't know if all that rain we had filled the hole in some, but I don't think that's quite three feet. So I'm gonna bring the backhoe over here and see if I can take the uh, backhoe part and whack that down in the ground, see if it'll go any farther. Hmm.
So I think I got it pushed in the ground another six or eight inches. It was right at two feet. So I was shooting for three feet, but you know what? I'm not going to take that out. It's not like it's going to really go anywhere. Uh, since the holes are full of water and mud, I grabbed a scoop of gravel from the pile over there, and I'm just going to backfill it with gravel. And uh, that should pack down in there, and, and uh, I'll plumb them up. It's kind of hard to get a taper pole plumb, but you can get it best you can. got my two front corner posts in uh, that's all I got time to mess with for today and uh, hopefully I'll get another pole or two this week I got a creosote one but I really prefer to have all the treated ones but uh, worst case I'm gonna use that one in for the other back two corners and then when I get my other one you uh, just cut it in half and one for the center and front and back let some of this mud dry up so here we are about two weeks later. I finally got enough free time and a little motivation to come down here and at least get the pole set today and I'll get the wood to do the band around the top. So I set these two like after that tornado rainstorm we had a couple weeks ago and I had to get some more light poles and I got those cut the other day and, and laid in here and I'm doing my four outside corners first. So I can pull the string on it. It's just a little easier to line up the uh, center post. Um, this one right here 
is like a 12 inch pole and a 12 inch hole so it's uh i was slightly off so i think i'm gonna have to put a strap around and pull it out because if i straighten it up where it hits the string it's still not plumb so i'll probably pull it out and take the post hole diggers and cut back a couple inches on that side it should give it enough room to straighten it up a little bit more so take the back hoe and push them up straight hold them down and pack a little dirt around them so i got my string here and i'll move the back hoe over here and get this one um plumbed up with the string hopefully it'll yeah it should it should it'll be all to one side but it should uh should touch the string and still be plumb within the hole we'll find out here shortly There we go. One set pole. That easy. All right, I'm gonna pull this one out, dig that hole out a little bit more, and set it back in. It's a big pole. That's almost like a saw log. So I ended up taking the shovel and the post hole diggers and I dug back probably four more inches just to have plenty of room. You can see how much more I cut it off about right there. So now I'm going to set that pole back in here and hopefully it will 
uh, have enough room so I can get it plumb and it not go past the string line. One way to find out. That's all it took. It's out just a slight bit, but it's a lot better than it was. The top kind of tapers over a little bit, so I had to pull it out just a little bit. All right, well, I'm gonna pack some dirt around it, and uh, that'll be all of the pole set.